Hey, everybody, this is Apostle Bernard, Watchman on Walls International Fellowship from Fort Mill, South Carolina, uh, south of Charlotte, North Carolina. And uh, I'm really excited to be on today. Uh, I wanted to come on. Uh, I'm not I'm not giving a prophetic word today, but I'm I'm sort of giving an uh uh, prophetic encouragement. Uh, last Wednesday, we released the word, uh, which was on 8, 8, August the 8th. And we released the word that August will be a month of surprises. And I, I wanted to just come back and give you some reports. Uh, we've got a lot of comments. If you have time, I would encourage you to go and read the comments because I'm going to lift up uh, some of the comments of persons who, who's already had surprises in their life uh, already this month, already uh, since August came in, probably in the last week. Uh, and um, and so I just, you know, today I want to encourage you to stand uh, in this word and, and believe that uh, surprises are coming to you in the next uh uh, in the in the next days until at least the end of the month. And, you know, if we want to believe, if we want to call September a month of surprises, go ahead. Uh, a prophetic word is really a declaration of faith. And we prophesy according to our faith. So I believe not only do we prophesy by faith, but we receive the prophetic word by faith. All right. So we gave the word that, uh, uh, August is going to be a month of surprises. And I also wanted to talk about, it's not just about the surprises, but first let me share with you the surprises that have been breaking out in my life since I gave that word on 8-8. Eight, eight. I've had, actually I've had three specific surprises in the last seven days. Okay. Uh, number one, I received, first I received a prophetic word from a sister who's been attending our, our wild fellowship uh, since we, since we moved here, maybe a few months after we moved here, we started having monthly meetings in 2016. Uh, and I met her a few months later and she's been faithfully coming, uh, throughout the uh, last three years. And I mean, the, the word that she sent me and she is prophetic. She's an encourager. Uh, she's, uh, she's, she's an influencer, uh, through video and through, uh, through her writings. Uh, and, uh, so she always speaks encouragement, which, which that's what prophecy in New Testament prophecy is encouragement, you know, and, uh, edification, but, uh, but her prophetic gift has gone to another level because the word she sent me, it was such a surprise. It was, it was such a surprise. I mean, the Lord blew me away from that word. Okay. So that was the first surprise. It wasn't expected. Uh, uh, like I said, she's all, she's an encourager. She's always encouraging me and encouraging others at the meeting. She encourages through her, uh, daily, uh, through her blog, through her vlog and all of that. But that word she sent me, I really saw the hand of God on her releasing that prophetic word from her from her to me. Okay. That was the first surprise. Then the second surprise was at the wow fellowship last Saturday. We had 15 people in attendance. That is a, that is a major, uh, that's a major number for a while. Now, when we started in our first meeting, we had nine persons that was very encouraging, but, uh, we, we don't have consistently a lot of people attending our meetings. We're new. Uh, what we're doing is new. It's apostolic. It's prophetic. It's new breed. Uh, it's not church. We don't meet on Sundays, but we are a gathering and we do worship. We pray. We intercede. We prophesy. We pray over people for healing. My son, uh, Prophet Quincy, has a healing gift. I've seen him. I've, I saw a woman healed when he laid hands on and prayed for in one of our meetings. So we are the church. We, we, we are the church. I'm an apostle. I'm an apostle of the church, but we are very non-traditional. We are not religious. We're not denominational. And so because of that, uh, one of the reasons why we meet on Saturday is because we, we, you know, uh, but the, we have 15 people at our meeting. That was a surprise. 
and it was so unexpected. And I believe that we're starting to turn as we're moving uh, into our creativity conference, which is going to be taking place in October. And then the third surprise I got is private. I don't want to share that, but it was such a delight. It was as if the Lord himself was smiling upon me and just gave me uh, this surprise. I wasn't expecting it. And so I'm just believing for the rest of this month, for the rest of the, I think, you know, 30, is it 30 days or 31 days? I, I'm not sure, but I'm just believing God for more surprises in the next couple of weeks for the month. All right. And so I just want to I just want you to believe God. Just believe him and start and start declaring my surprise or my surprises are coming, okay? So this is this came this these surprises came from the comment section uh uh in our in our video, okay? Uh just uh Jashel, I'm sorry if I pronounced her name, says that they have received several positive surprises this month. Salva said God has been doing the same crazy. God has been doing some crazy, amazing things for me this month. Uh, friends, friend who is on our email list, a very faithful uh, uh, person said the Lord surprised me by answering a prayer request that I that I sent to ministries in 2007, 2007, 11 years ago. Uh, this person prayed a prayer and sent that, I assume sent it to ministries for them to stand in agreement. And the Lord has answered that at the end of last week. Wow. Isn't that, isn't that incredible? Uh, then a uh, Zoe life coach said that I received an answer to a 20 year prayer this month. All right. So if you're looking for a life coach, you know, of course I'm a life coach, but Zoe life coach might be the person that might be the coach that you need. They're getting answers to prayers after uh, 20 years, okay? Now, part of that word we gave is the Lord says he was going to bring surprises according to prayers, all right? And so these, these, are, these are just some of the comments that we're getting. So if you've been getting some surprises, you know, please uh, share them. Please share them uh, with us. In the comment section, all right. Now, here's what here's something else I wanted to say because it's not just about the surprise. This is a part of the word that I gave last week, uh, where the Lord says your surprise will be a sign that you have entered into the best time of your life. Okay, so so the surprises are are not the main focus. The main focus is that your surprises is a sign to you that you are entering into the best time of your life. You're entering into a new season. You're entering into the into a best season. Okay? So you got to so so don't just hang out in the surprise. You you got to you got to enter into that best time. I'm I'm already feeling it. I'm going to the doctor Thursday. I've been having some some uh some physical issues that I you know, I I'm not sharing yet. I've I've shared it with a few persons, but I'm not sharing it publicly, but uh, but I'm feeling a difference in my body this week. All right, I went to a very I went to a meeting Sunday uh, where the, there was a prophet and uh, I mean the angels were flowing in the meeting, uh, healings were flowing. Matter of fact, one of the prophetic words he gave is that God God is going to going to uh, lift aging off of many of you. And I'm not old, you know, but I'm 51, so I'm not young. I'm not old. I'm 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 somewhere in the middle. I will not accept that art ranking that you know at 55 you're a senior citizen. I'm not I'm not gonna be a senior citizen at 55. I got at least until I'm 70, maybe 65, because that's the age of retirement. But I don't plan on retiring. All right, I love what I do. Okay, so uh, but but I you know I I want. I want, I received that word about, about the Lord releasing, you know, lifting up aging. Cause I want to go back to my twenties. When I was 21, I was in the best shape of my life. I was physical. I was fit. I was, you know, I was exercising, uh, you know, I mean, that's, that's, I don't want to go back to being 21. Please understand. I don't want to be 21, but I want the health 
that I had at 21. So I'm believing God for that word, but I'm feeling different in my body and I'm expecting a great report from the doctor when I go to the when I go to the doctor this week. All right. So so you just got to stand in faith and believe God and enter into the best time of your life. All right. Rosh Hashanah is coming up uh, September 10th. Uh, Yom Kippur, Days of Atonement, all of that uh, in the, on the Hebrew calendar. That's a new year. Uh, you know, whether you're Hebrew or not, just go ahead and embrace that as a new year. It's okay to have a new year in September. Okay, it's it's really okay. All right, so so uh, so we're entering into the best time, and I, I want I just want to encourage you to enter into the best time of your life. All right, now. Uh, I've got several things I want to share with you. Number one, when you join my mailing list, go to my website at creativeawakening.us. Join my mailing list. I've got a free ebook for you, How to Get a Breakthrough, The Three Laws of Breakthrough. I believe that book is, is going, to, going to help you to get breakthrough. I, I do because what I share in that is my own personal uh, encounters and how the Lord taught me and the instruction the Lord gave me on how to get a breakthrough. I left a whole way of life at the age of 49. Uh, I had to break through that though, okay? Entering, now I'm in a new life, building a new life for myself, my family, the ministry, my business, and all of that, all right? Uh, so I want, want you to get that book. Secondly, I'm offering, I'm doing an online course. It's the third, it's, it's actually my third course. Uh, I did sessions one and two in June and July. So I'll be doing a coach, uh, a course on dream interpretation, uh, hearing the voice of God in your dreams. Now, many of you, uh, many of you are very interested in knowing what the numbers mean that you're seeing. Uh, most of the material on the internet about numbers is demonic. It comes from the occult, but but God speaks through numbers. Okay, uh, Pharaoh had a dream and he saw seven. He saw seven fat cows and he saw seven uh, emaciated cows or malnourished cows, all right? The number seven <clears throat> was, was unique, was a unique sign in his dream, okay? So I'm going to be doing a segment in the class on, see, on prophetic numbers, whether you're seeing them in your dreams or whether you see them, you know, uh, throughout your day. And if you want to get this now, I plan on on actually writing a book. I've been gathering materials. I just haven't had the time, but uh, but I'm introducing a portion of what I've learned and what I've gathered. I'm introducing a portion of that into this class on August 25th. So go to the link. Go to the link. I'm sorry, and sign up for the class and join me on Saturday, August the 25th. All right. God bless you. Uh, and uh, I've got another video I made today, so I'm actually uploading two videos, and I want to encourage you to, to watch uh, the second video as well uh, when you watch this. Uh, the, they will be linked, so you'll be able to go right to the second video after you finish this one, all right? God bless you. I decree and I speak over you surprises, and I speak over you that every surprise is a sign of you entering into your best time. I release faith and breakthrough over you right now in the name of Jesus. And I declare that surprises are coming today and every day for the rest of this month. In Yeshua's name, we make these declarations. Amen.